Hello everybody, mega goal number one, 10 writing for secondary pages 14 and 15. Our objectives for today we will be revising when to use the capital letters and write a discursive essay about an event and the impact on your country. طبعا درسنا اليوم بنراجع متى نكتب ال capital letter very easy هذا شيء جدا سهل and number two راح نكتب مقال استطرادي عن حدث حدث في دولتنا وعن تأثيره عليها خلاص مثل ما نناقش ال causes وال effects uh, as I said uh, in previous videos, مثل ما قلت في الفيديوهات السابقة, when I was explaining the writing lesson for second secondary and third secondary, لما كنت أشرح دروس الرايتنج حق سنة ثانية أو سنة ثالثة, I was saying that uh, the writing lesson is an interactive lesson and it has to be done in class with your teacher in order to accomplish the objective. عشان أحقق الهدف لازم يكون درس تفاعلي بينك وبين معلمتك. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna guide you through the process. راح أقودكم على للعملية الكتابة ل the process of writing. But the actual writing should be done in class. لكن العملية the writing مفروض تكون في الكلاس. Actually, as some part of it will be at home. حتى جزء منها بيكون بالبيت. Anyways, I hope you find this lesson beneficial. Let's start with today's lesson. So this unit is big changes. Turn to page 14 here. And let's start with the first objective of today's lesson. الهدف الأول. Here we have to write the guidelines and rewrite the sentences using capital letters. As you could see here, let's revise when to use capital letter. متى نستخدم ال capital letter. Usually we use the capital letter when we begin a sentence. When we begin a sentence. إذا بدينا في عادة إذا بدينا ببداية الجملة. When we begin a sentence, right? أستخدم capital letter. Okay. Like it is said here, many people were shopping at the mall. And of course, for names of people, places, for example, cities, countries, rivers, lakes, university, etc. Okay? طبعا بداية الجملة في أسماء الأسماء الأشخاص، أسماء الأماكن، أسماء المدن، أسماء القارات، ال continent وال countries، أسماء الدول. Uh, okay? Also, for the days of the week and months of year, طبعاً Tuesday, uh, January, March, all of them, they have to be in a capital letter. Also, the word I all the time has to be in capital letter. معظمكم أشوفكم تكتبون I like this, but this is wrong and it has to be all the time capital letter حتى لو جات في منتصف الجملة. Anyways, uh, so this is when to use capital letter mainly and let's do one and two all together and and the rest you can do them by yourself jack decided to fly to new york next monday so here jack has to be in a capital letter so jack to fly to new york new york is a city so it has to be in a capital letter and york has to be in a capital letter as well um, and next Monday, of course, Monday is has to be in a capital letter as well. My brother has never been to Dubai, but at the beginning of the sentence, so my brother and has never been to Dubai. Dubai has to be in a capital letter, so do Dubai. I'm guessing that you can do the rest by yourself. Okay, so let me just write it, rewrite it one more time here so it would be clear for you. So Jack has to be in a capital letter, right? And then as well as New York. Okay. Okay, and of course, Monday has to be in a capital letter as well. I'm guessing that you can do the rest by yourself because they are pretty easy. Now let's move on to B. Okay, so here, uh, let's discuss this one first and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. B, how do most people communicate nowadays and how 
uh, do you communicate with your friends and relatives discuss and make notes okay so now how do we communicate what is the meaning of communicate شو المقصود communicate communicate means in how do we stay in touch or how do we keep in touch كيف نتواصل مع بعضنا nowadays Uh, do we write uh, letters, نكتب رسائل? Do we phone each other often? Or do we send instant messages? Or do we send, uh, do we fa- com- contact each other on Snapchat and sometimes on WhatsApp? Probably yes, most of the do- time you send instant messages and you, you com- contact your friends on WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, all of these social media apps, okay? And uh, do you think uh, that uh, communicating uh, online is better than communicating than face-to-face? Do you think that when we communicate online, يعني, through the inter- via the internet, is better than when we communicate face-to-face? Okay, leave me a comment uh, and give me your own opinion on this matter. أعطوني رأيكم عن هذه الموضوع. Okay, girl. Okay, guys, <laughs> girls and boys. Now let's read the text and compare with your idea. Underline the new information. Here, I'm not gonna read it for you because this is not a reading lesson. هذا مش درس قراءة. The main purpose of this essay or this text. الهدف الأساسي من هذا المقال. أو هذا المقال أو هذا النص أنه أعرف الطريقة اللي يكتبون فيها المقال الاستطراطي Anyways, you can do this by yourself Read it about how the internet has changed the world So the internet has changed the world And what is the impact الأثر على العالم Okay, العالم طبعا بأجمع Now you have to read and you compare your ideas and underline the new information as well. So, okay. Now let's move on to the next uh, task, which is C. We have to read the text and make notes in the chart about the important facts and the changes the internet has brought uh, about, okay? So you can do this by yourself, as I said. We have the major change is communication. التأثير الكبير اللي هو communication. We have to as well find information, fact and causes. Okay. Uh, طبعا نشوف الحقائق والأسباب طبعا والadvantage الإيجابيات والdisadvantages طبعا. This is your own opinion and the situation in the past. الطريقة في العالم كيف كانوا يتواصلون. So this is can be done by yourself. ممكن تسوونها بين أنفسكم. You can go back to the test. text and do this by yourself now let's do the next one which is a major change in education i have already filled the charge the chart in our in order to save time but we can discuss it all together in brief so you would understand what we mean by the major change in education طبعاً, the major change uh, in education the fact and the cause is what is called uh, e-learning اللي هو التعلم الإلكتروني or online learning the advantage that we can attend courses online طبعاً نحضر الدروس online وانتو عارفين إن also one of the advantages الحين إنه um, بسبب الوضع بسبب كورونا فيروس كوفيد 19 Uh, it's safer to take online courses than going to school physically يعني, and being present in physically. يعني أفضل إن الواحد يحضر كورسات online عشان إن أأمن لا. Okay. Now the disadvantage, of course, there is no chance to meet people face to face, face to face. يعني لما نحن الحين نتواصل online, uh, unfortunately, we cannot meet people face to face شخصيا. The situation in the past and what I can feel Mali, you have to be physically present and it was a must kind of necessary. خلاص مهم جدا ان الواحد كان في الماضي انه يحضر uh, in person شخصيا. Now let's move on to the next one which is the major change in information. التغير في المعلومات خلاص. 
the fact uh, that causes الحقيقة اللي أدت هذا الشيء إنه information now has become uh, accessible to all الجميع يستطيع الوصول للمعلومات okay the advantage we have we have variety of resources عندنا مصادر مختلفة ومتنوعة من المعلومات such as Google uh, websites and this also saves time يعني يوفر من الوقت now the disadvantage that if you uh, go online and find information sometimes these information are not reliable يعني مش ما فيها مصداقية and they are uh, uncertain and sometimes the quality of information itself now the situation in the past okay uh, it was obtaining information was time consuming and it was very costly كان الحصول على المعلومات يعني جدا صعب يعني يستهلك وقت وكذلك uh, يعني جدا ممكن نقول غالي كان في ذاك الوقت خلاص so that was uh, the uh, what we have discussed when it comes to the some of the major changes uh, and the, the what causes these changes and advantages and the disadvantages and how it was in the past كيف كان في الماضي الوضع okay now let's move on you were asked right now to start writing or to brainstorm خلاص اول واحد اول خطوه اللي هو يسوي عصف ذهني about an event and uh, this event how it has changed our country خلاص think about an event فكروا في حدث uh, انا بعطيكم for example covid 19 اللي هو كورونا فايروس I'm, so- i'm sorry i'm mentioning it uh, all uh, يعني more يعني frequently قاعدة أذكرها دائما باستمرار because this is actually what's going on in the world يعني هذا اللي قاعد يصير في العالم for example COVID-19 طبعا of course it has changed uh, the whole world غير العالم كله but I want you to think deeply about it and think about what causes this change think about the impact on, on our country التأثير على دولتنا the advantage and the disadvantage you may say to yourself there is no uh, advantage of COVID-19 ممكن تفكروا أن ما في إيجابيات الفيروس كورونا بين on the country I think there are But of course, في عندنا disadvantage more خلاص. Now uh, you can think about it and try to fill this uh, chart, and you may uh, think about more than one impact, أكثر من تأثير. Okay. After you brainstorm, you can use the information you put in the chart and write an uh, an essay. Uh, this crucify essay اللي هو مقال استراتيجي about the event and the impact on your country وتأثيرها. and then you can exchange and comment on each other's word correct and rewrite so I'm gonna just before I finish up or wrap up this lesson I'm just gonna introduce you to something very important because I have already did this with second secondary and third secondary and this is something that you should Uh, memorize by heart هذا يعني مهارة لازم تعرفونها ولازم تحفظونها ومهمة جدا عشان كذا I'm gonna introduce it for the first time in this video وبعدين في الفيديوهات الجاية إذا أنتم بتتابعون معي بتعرفون إن this is what should happen when I write an essay هذا المفروض اللي يصير لما uh, يحدث uh, لما أكتب مقال أوكي okay? So the first step when I'm uh, we, what we call this is the process of writing عمليات الكتابة and it has to be go through five steps خمس خطوات the first one we have to this is what we have to do in class which is pre writing ما قبل الكتابة and this is when you fill a chart or uh, discuss this with your teacher يعني أحيانا يكون هذا عبي مثلا جدول و وأناقشة مع معلمتي This is when we have, I have time to think وقت عشان أفكر عن اللي بكتبه خلاص مثلا إذا أنا بتكلم عن COVID-19 أنا قلت لكم أنه لازم يكون capital letter فلازم يكون capital letter خلاص 
لما افكر مثلا اباوت كوفيد 19 لازم افكر اسوي عصف ذهني اجمع المعلومات بعدها اي شود ستارت درافتنج وات دو اي مين باي درافتنج يس اي مين باي درافتنج اللي هي كتابة المست... المسودة خلاص تايم تو رايت ات داون على خلاص يعني مفروض ان انا اكتب المعلومات تايم تو رايت ات داون اوكي Now this is what we mean by uh, drafting. Number three, بعد drafting, we have to revise or revising. What do I mean by revising? It, this is when I have time to improve my writing. عشان أطور من من كتابتي. خلاص. Improve my writing. خلاص. And uh, how do I do this? يعني كيف uh, يعني أبي أشرح لكم revising اللي هي المراجعة. Revising uh, ممكن I ask one of my partners, one of my peers, أحد من زملائي أو أقراني وأطلب منهم إنهم يراجعون للمقال ويعطوني ملاحظاتهم. After the revising, we have to go through the fourth step اللي هي الخطوة الرابعة which is editing. Of course يعني الحين أنا راجعوا لي المقال فلازم أحرر المقال خلاص فتحرير المقال معناها time to make things correct okay things correct وقت تصحيح المعلومات خلاص طبعا أنتوا عارفين إن editing معناها التحرير Now the last one. This is when I have to submit my paper or my essay. هذا الوقت اللي لازم ااا يعني أسلم الورقة وطبعاً هذا هذا يسمونها publishing. Publishing. Okay. So this is when I share my essay. Time to share my writing. Okay, so this is what I call is the process of writing اللي هي خطوات الكتابة and as I told you I'm gonna explain this only once in this video and in the next videos and the next writing lessons في دروس الwriting اللي بعدها you will know that the process of writing has to go through five steps pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing and publishing And that's it for today's lesson. هذا بالنسبة لدرس اليوم. I hope that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends, and leave me a comment. And if you like it, press like. Have a good one.